So this is an ND100,000 lens filter. And this one, ND1 million, that's 20 stops. Now, why would anyone ever use one of these? Because they're pretty much completely black. Well, technically you could use them for super long exposures, but that's not really what they're for, no. Because they're actually called solar filters. Both are from KNF Concept and, well, you use them to take photos or videos of the sun. Yeah, so I know it probably won't look quite like that if I'm gonna use my normal camera and just a basic budget lens, but it should look pretty cool nevertheless. And we might even see some sunspots, hopefully. That's what I'm going for. And it should definitely look very different compared to taking a photo or a video of the sun with a normal ND filter, like when you're photographing a sunset for example, because now the sun will be the main subject of our photo or video. But you know what, let's just try it out. It's sunny out today, so let's go outside and try to make a video of the sun, so that you know what to expect, because maybe you're planning to capture the upcoming solar eclipse, or maybe you just want to take some creative photos of the sun, which also looks super cool. And stick around till the end because I'm giving away six of these. I'm actually a little bit nervous because I've never done this before. Okay, so yeah, instead of going to the park, I decided to come here on our balcony because I mean, the sun is not super high yet in the sky and I think here I have the best view. And also there's clouds passing by now and then and well, I can wait literally on the couch here for the right moment. So yeah, it's a lot easier. But anyway, um, <laughs> So that's my setup right there. We have the Blackmagic Design Cinema Camera 6K, then a 500 millimeter budget lens, 400 bucks, that's it. And that's on a full frame camera, of course. So if you want the same framing on an APS-C camera, you're gonna need something like a 350 millimeter lens. And then of course, right there is the solar filter mounted on the lens. Now, maybe a little warning first. So if you're using a DSLR with an optical viewfinder, so not a mirrorless camera with a, an electronic viewfinder, but an optical viewfinder, then even with the solar filter mounted, don't ever look straight at the sun through the viewfinder because, I mean, it's like looking at the sun through a magnifying glass and it might burn a hole through your skull. Yeah, so, you know, look at the screen, that's totally fine, or through an electronic viewfinder, mirrorless camera, but if you have an optical viewfinder, your eyes are important. Okay, let's see what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, yeah, you can. So that's what it looks like right now, the sun. And my settings right now are ISO 640 and just 24 frames per second, 180 degrees shutter. And well, this is what it looks like without the solar filter. Right now there's no clouds at all. So I hope we can see some sunspots, but I think I'm also gonna try to catch some clouds going in front of the sun because I think that will look pretty cool too. And of course, I'm also gonna try out different settings. You know, this is my first time, so I literally have no idea what I'm doing here. I just, I'm just trying to make a video of the sun. Um, yeah, and we'll see what the result will be. Maybe you can already check it out and I'm gonna just keep struggling here and again this is what it looks like without the solar filter maybe i can let's see if i close down the aperture all the way there that's aperture all the way closed that's what you get now, if you're gonna take a photo or a video of the sun, then, well, you obviously need one of these to control the exposure, right? Because even if you close down the aperture all the way to the minimum, like I showed you, or to the maximum, close down to the minimum or to the maximum? Wait, I don't know, whatever. Even if you close down the aperture all the way, the sun will be blown out because, I mean, it's the sun, you know, it's a lot of light. So you need a solar filter, but you also need this to protect the camera sensor from overload because when you point your camera at the sun directly, well, that's a lot of energy and light and heat. Like I said, again, it's the sun. And I don't know if it could really hurt your sensor, but it could definitely hurt your images, your image quality. Because, well, for example, if you're going to try and capture an eclipse, you'll be pointing your camera at the sun for much longer than just a few seconds, right? 
So, you know, your sensor is exposed to all that energy for a lot longer than normal. But enough of the technical talk. Let's see what the result of my little excursion looks like. Look at that. Doesn't that look super cool? I am so happy with this. For a first time, yeah, definitely. And this is on a normal day, late morning, around 11, I think. So imagine if there's an eclipse or a cool sunset somewhere, maybe with a skyline. Because you can also get creative with these filters or combine multiple exposures, for example. And you know what? I think if I zoom in here, aren't those sunspots? I think they are. And you can even see some texture here at the edges. Or what is that? Is that sun texture or... I'm not sure. Well, you tell me if there's like an astrophotographer out there, let me know. And this is a shot I took later with some clouds, which also looks super cool in my opinion. But what surprised me the most is how fast the sun moves. I mean, I already knew that it moves fast. No, no, wait, I'm saying it wrong. The sun isn't moving fast. We're moving fast around the sun and we're also spinning, right? Yeah, so we're moving. But anyway, look, if I put a grid over the image and this is real time, look, isn't that amazing how fast it moves? You can just see it move or us move, whatever. And all that with a normal camera and a cheap-ish lens. The one I used is 400 bucks for a 500 millimeter. I mean, it doesn't have to be expensive, right? I'll link all the gear I used in the description. I think the result looks super cool. I'm definitely gonna try it again, see if I can capture some more of those sunspots and textures, and maybe I'll also get one of those teleconverters to turn my 500 millimeter into a 1000 millimeter lens, you know, to get even closer. Oh, and talking about the lens, one last tip maybe. I've noticed this with a lot of my lenses. It seems like you always get better sharpness if you don't set the focus all the way to infinity. Just turn it back a millimeter or two and that's where it looks a lot sharper. See the difference here? I don't know why that is. Is that a thing or I don't know. So let me know in the comments. I've noticed it on a lot of my lenses. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, now maybe I've also sparked your interest here. Maybe you wanna give it a try, make a video or a photo of the sun. Well, then you're gonna need one of these and I'm giving away six well, no, KNF Concept is giving away six of these solar filter kits. So thank you so much, KNF. And all you need to do is comment below and I'll randomly pick six winners. That's it, go. No, wait, uh, one last thing, because whenever I do a giveaway, there's so many scam comments and spam comments. So be careful. I will never contact you through Telegram or WhatsApp and my name always has that verify check mark next to it. So always double check. That's how you can see that it's really me. Okay, go.